doing just fine. Then I put it in park, right? Yeah. Just sat there, then after a while I saw a spot I wanted, then I put it back in gear, and then it just And it just stalled uh, when you put it in gear? Yeah, when okay. I put it back in drive. Okay. So I got my... Uh, well, old school bands to the rescue. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we need to figure out if you're missing fuel or spark because it's so, cranking and not starting right I heard, now. I heard uh, noise. So I also do have. Yeah, I don't know if these have the fuel pump uh, in the tank. They should, I guess. I don't think it's gravity fed. Um, but I've had cars where it is yeah. really easy to hear them, but this I never heard anything. Okay, ever. so it could be that you're losing so, spark. Hopefully that's on there good. All see right. if you can see a spark. It might be kind of. Okay, hold on. You connected it all right. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay, nothing. I don't see anything. No Are you sure you connected it correctly? Let's double check so all right you removed one wire one spark plug wire okay yeah, and the other end goes to ground oh it goes to the the spark plug hole yeah basically okay late night guys trying to fix the truck it's going to connect it to ground it's ground i have a test light make sure it's good Okay, it's working. Make sure everything is clear. Okay, try it. Nothing. So probably either your uh, something inside your distributor is uh, not making spark. Yeah. Of course, the best thing would be to find the diagram, but uh, we can't do it right now. We're just doing it like the old school way. Right. Yeah. All right, guys. Late night. We're working on this car. It's just you know what happened is uh, it was kind of getting late, and you know uh, he went to the store, and all of a sudden you know the truck uh, kind of broke down, so it has no spark. So we're gonna be trying to fix this uh, awesome old school truck, uh, and you know get it back on the road so I kind of really like it maybe I'll do a, like a truck review on this thing it's actually pretty awesome it has a dark blue interior it's it's a pretty cool truck actually so yeah. we're gonna keep working on it uh, we'll keep you updated and yeah uh, so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe like this video and let's go let's get to fixing this truck gotta love big trucks Oops. All right, we're checking power. Ready? Yeah, feed. Go ahead, turn the key on. Okay, we have the power. Good, turn it off. All right, guys, so after checking the power, uh, we actually marked the body. It's gonna be hard to see, but we marked the body to the distributor itself, just in case, uh, because I know on these engines, actually, you can you know you can turn the cap to advance or retard the timing so just so we're safe we know how it was because we're gonna be removing this distributor cap now I'm gonna do a visual inspection well, there's some corrosion on them yeah it's probably Let's the issue See, see if we can clean that up clean that up and try again mm -hmm. what about 1986 um yeah and he's had this truck for like over a little over two years uh it's pretty awesome really spacious i mean it's it's a really great like a great workhorse and yeah guys so let me know your opinions and what do you think about this truck so uh what i'm thinking right now of is literally i just uh hope we're gonna yeah go ahead start cleaning it so he's gonna start cleaning it so hopefully after we put everything back together the truck is gonna start 
so we can finally go home because I was pretty much already sleeping almost sleeping and then I got a phone call I had to help my buddy out so uh, here we are um, we'll see how she starts we'll report back uh, if she starts or not and but I'm pretty confident that uh, it's gonna start after cleaning um, of those contacts on the distributor so he's gonna take care of that and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes wish us luck guys so uh, we're working with what we have guys I mean we have some paper towels and WD-40 to clean all this stuff off um, and I don't have a lot of stuff with me I left a lot of the other stuff in my other car so I came here pretty much with just barely any tools so um, we're working with what we can and everything is pretty much closed right now and we're just here in you know the parking lot um, there's Walmart right there but I don't even think that it's open uh, that's right a, now. it's probably still open it's a but 24 hour Walmart yeah, but I don't right, know if they're doing they don't anything. have much stuff currently with the COVID. oh yeah it's actually doing uh, it's breaking pretty off. well it's yeah breaking it's off actually uh, removing all the corrosion right there dry off pretty quick all right guys so that's the result uh, you know, it looks really good right now no corrosion all cleaned up we just have to let it dry a little bit and we're gonna put it back okay this rotor is all cleaned up looks good no corrosion so we're gonna put this back together So this is what happens guys when you work on a truck and when you have a truck <laughs> it doesn't happen uh, you know with Mercedes Benz but with the trucks I mean that's what happens usually when you have a truck it is what it is so trying to put the distributor back on and uh, the last like it's so difficult to get to the rear uh, bolt so i'm just trying on my best you know and it's like midnight so but hopefully it pays off and the truck starts all right go ahead uh, let's see if she starts Alright guys, so we're back here and we have, um, I drew like a um, circuit for the distributor system, ignition system. Uh, so <laughs> long story short, he already tried replacing the ignition coil uh, on this system and I told him that let's just diagnose it. Yeah, and the uh, ignition uh, coil didn't help, it's still a crank no start. So. Finally, we're gonna normally, like normal people, we're gonna diagnose this thing, okay? So, going to the system. So, there's a distributor all the way there. So, how it works is we have a, a pickup coil right here and two wires coming out of it. And those two wires go to the ignition module and then from the ignition module um, basically there's also three wires and one of them is a pulsating wire um, and which feeds the ignition coil so long story short we already checked this wire with a key on it has power right here so right now what we have to do is grab a test light Go ahead and, and back a, probe this the same test again. so we're gonna see if it's pulsating it's gonna have to basically when you crank this with this back probe uh, your Tesla should pulsate indicating that it's getting signal from the ignition module to the ignition coil 
So we're gonna check that. So we got this out again. There's your coil on top. All right. So right now we're gonna test the ignition module and also we picked up a new ignition module just in case. So we're gonna test the old ignition module, see if that's the problem uh, and check the power coming to it and the signal from the uh, pickup coil and we'll see if that's the problem. Alright, so this distributor is reconnected. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and check for spark right now. Alright, go for it. Yeah. Right. I saw a spark. Hold on. Do it again. All right. Yep. Got the spark, man. Gosh. It's crazy how much I love old school cars and trucks. Oh, look at this. Old German girl and old American girl. <laughs> look at that. Oh, you're done with my tools, huh? Now you're done with my tools. Okay. Are you sure you won't need them again? Oh, I'm gonna need them again. Don't hide them. Don't put them away. It's actually it goes to that bag. Forgot? Are you new? I'm new. That bag right there. It's all electrical stuff. guys so it hasn't been running for a little bit so that's why there's some condensation and smoke coming out and plus we had the cylinders flooded a little bit when we were cranking it for so many times well I wasn't you know but yeah she's running pretty good right now we're gonna let her run until she clears up and we're gonna put the air filter back on and everything she's gonna be good to go Damn, she's so smooth, man. Without a choke, she's pretty good. All right, guys, we're almost done. He's putting the airbox back on. I'm still wearing a mask. So, um, yeah, and then we're gonna be ready to roll. This truck is awesome. It's all running good right now after fixing this no spark condition. So hopefully he doesn't have any more issues with it. And other than that, other than that problem that he had, like the truck is that was actually like pretty reliable, pretty awesome. So, yeah. And keep in mind that it's a pretty old truck. It's 1986, so sometimes it needs work here and there, but it's it's pretty awesome. I mean, and I told him that he should uh, sand some of these spots soon, you know, and either paint them or put grease on them so it doesn't keep rusting and stuff like that. So. Yeah, other than that, I mean, I like the chrome on it and everything else. I mean, it it is it is really old school, and all these handles, guys. I mean, it's pretty amazing. So, and the dark blue interior as well. So, I'll definitely do a car review or truck review on this thing. 
it would be pretty awesome what do you guys think let me know in the comments everything reconnected one final start go ahead wow guys so he's trying to run away from us let's see if we can actually go ahead and uh chase him my bands okay well, let's see oh she went all the way there already that's crazy he's really fast okay let's see Okay. This is really far now. Oh, I see him. It's all the way on top right there. Oh, I'm gonna try to chase him. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Well, guys, it seems like he's gone. So, yeah, I just caught a red light, so I don't think I'll be able to chase him. But we'll see. Maybe he will get unlucky and uh, he will have all the red lights in a row we'll see all right guys so <laughs> let's see if i lost i think i lost i don't know or maybe i actually won because he's not here i don't see him here so it's possible that i actually won interesting He's not here, so we're gonna wait for him and see because usually he parks right there. So it looks like maybe he went the other way or something. But it looks like I won this time. That's interesting. I was expecting him to be here. What happened, bro? Why are you so late? Where? Oh, you turned around? Yeah. What? I was following you. I thought you were driving already. Okay. Oh, nice. You're like right on the line. Nice. <laughs>